Your rocking chair will arrive in a box like this. They all weigh from between 37 and 50 pounds. All the parts come in one box and are partially assembled. Included in the box is a pack of hardware, some wood glue, an Allen wrench, and your assembly instructions. Some customers prefer to use Elmer's wood glue. You'll also need a rubber mallet and a power drill or a screwdriver. First we're going to install these side rails into the back posts of the seat back. There's a small tenon and a large tenon on both sides. The easy way to find that out is to line both up and just figure out which tenon is the large and small. The next thing you want to do is make sure that the hole on the bottom of the side rail is facing toward the ground and that the inside hole here is facing the, the hole on the back post. Apply a little glue on the inside here, slip the side rail in, and then we're going to drill. We're going to do this for both sides. Next we're going to install the shaped side rails. There's also a small and large tenon on these pieces. And the dip, the lower dip in the shaped side rail goes towards the back of the seat. You just slip them into the joint here and you want them to align with the straight side rails. They're going to angle out a bit. If you have them installed wrong, they'll angle in or they won't line up with the side rails. So just watch for those details. Next we're going to install the seat front. There's a couple of joints here that line up with our straight and curved side rails. Just fit them all together. You can use the rubber mallet at this point if you need to hammer any of these joints together. You can also use a bit of the foam that comes with your packaging to protect the wood. Next you're going to attach the seat front to the straight side rails through these screw holes underneath here using the long screws. Next we're going to attach the arms to the seat back and the seat front. Of course there's a right and left side arm. Make sure you line them up correctly. Slide them into the joints onto the top and they'll pop together. You can put some glue in those joints first and then we're going to use the screws to attach to the seat back after we're done. Next you'll install the seat slats. The wide part goes toward the front and the narrow part to the back. Just pop it down inside and then we're going to screw from underneath. And finally we're going to install the runners. They pop onto both of these legs here using the long screws with the hex bolt on the bottom to screw each one in. And that'll be it.